In today's video, I'll show you how to make a bootable USB for Android. So let's take a look. To begin, we're gonna open up our browser. We're gonna head over to android-x86.org. And this is the official URL where you can get a lot of different Android operating system ISO image files. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do is just click on the download option right over here. And it's gonna give you a few sites that you can go to to download your images. So you can get it from FOSS Hub or OSDN. Where I'm gonna go right now is I'm gonna to go to the OSDN website, click on that. So if you scroll down a little bit here, you can see that the version that they have posted uh, at the top is 8.1. If you go a little bit further, you can get version 7, version 9, version 6, and so on. Uh, so you just basically have to decide the version of Android operating system that you want to download. You want to get the ISO image file, not the RPM. So we're going to go ahead and download this one and click on it. And what it's going to do is it's going to take us to the download page where it will proceed to download. So you'll have to wait for this download to complete. It's a little over 600 megs, 658 to be exact. We'll let that download, and I'll jump over to the next step. And we're at rufus.ie, and that is the official URL to download the Rufus bootable USB uh, creation tool. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna be downloading this and I'm gonna install it on my computer. Version 3.19 is the latest version that's out. We'll go ahead and click on that right now. And we're gonna let it download, and here it is. So double open that up, say yes to the prompt. And the first question is, do you want to allow Rufus to check for application updates online? And I'm okay with that, so I'll just select yes. Okay, so we have it installed. And here is the main screen for Rufus device. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna be plugging in a USB uh, flash drive. For this video, I'm gonna be using the Data Traveler G4 16 gig USB flash drive. Now this is a cheap, reliable uh, flash drive and I've used these over and over again with no issues. So I definitely recommend them. Uh, that's what I'm gonna be installing and I'm just gonna plug it in right now. So we have the device drive here listed up here at the top. And now what we're gonna do is select the operating system. So I already have it downloaded in my downloads folder. So here is my Android 8.1 R6 ISO image file. I'm gonna be selecting that over here. It's in my downloads folder, so I can go ahead and select that and then click on the open button. And we're gonna be leaving the partition scheme as default, the target system as default, uh, the volume label. We can just uh, shorten that up a little bit here. I'll just put Android 8.1. The following system is gonna stay as FAT32 and the cluster size we're gonna be leaving as default. Once you have all that selected, you can go ahead and click on the start button. So we get a prompt over here, write in ISO and image mode, which is recommended. We're gonna click on okay. And it's just giving us a prompt letting us know that's gonna completely wipe out the drive and that's fine, we'll click on okay. You may or may not get a prompt to download a subsystem for Linux, uh, which is required for the boot up. Uh, that's already been done on my PC and it'll just be a minute here while it goes ahead and copies over all the files. Okay, so the process is now complete. You can see that it's ready and we can go ahead and click on close. And we've just created a bootable version of Android 8.1 on a USB drive and that's how you do it. I'll also make sure I link the step-by-step -step instructions to my blog in the description below if you wanna follow those as well. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please smash that like button. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.